hey dolls and divas thank you so much for tuning in to my channel i hope you guys enjoy this video of this cute look i use this look in my trailer video so um i hope you love it once again and if you have not yet please go hit that cute like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time i drop a new video new videos coming every week enjoy Whoop. All right, come through fresh face. Here I'm using Anastasia Beverly Hills lip primer on my lips. Now I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. Here I'm going in with Too Faced Hangover Primer. This is like number two on my list for my favorite primers. And here I'm gonna squeeze about three pumps. Here I'll be using Farsali's Unicorn Essence Skin Enhancing Antioxidant Serum. looks kind of gross huh anyhow moving along so you just want to make sure you rub the product in very well here I'll be using the cover fix enhancer drops in the color candlelight you guys know how I feel about this stuff this is what I like to call my sun kiss bronze you guys need to be light-handed with this stuff here because a little bit goes a long way like what I applied here was more than enough don't apply any more like that's it Here I'll be using the NYX Dark Circle Corrector in the color DCC03. Okay, so I don't know what was going on here. Perhaps I had a spider in my ear or something. Who knows? Anywho, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder here in Medium Deep, and I'm just going to dab a little bit of this on my face to set my foundation. I like to do this process because you don't need to use as much foundation when you do this. Here, I'm just going to dampen the Beauty Blender before I go into that powder. And here, you just want to dust off the excess powder before applying to your face. just mention this before somebody asks yes I am natural my hair is just um, blow dried and flat ironed and I have not used hair crack in about three years so just before you ask I'm like I thought you said you were natural yes I am here I'll just be dampening my beauty blender so I can blend out that dark circle corrector here I'll be using the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer Concealer in the color SX14. When I tell you this stuff just, oh my gosh, is the business. I love it. 
you need a very very little bit look at this little tiny bit here you need a very little bit and look how far this little bit goes Dark circles where, sis? And here I'll be using what's left over on the brush to go on the top of my lids to even those out a bit as well. Here I'll be using my favorite foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, and I'm using the color Chai. using the Fenty Beauty Kabuki foundation brush to apply that foundation. Once again, I'll be using the ABH setting spray to dampen my beauty blender and blend out that concealer. Here I'll be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Dark to set my foundation. Here I'll be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the color Warm Sand to highlight. Contour, I'll be using Sephora's Make No Mistake Foundation Stick in the color Mahogany. Here's where I start to blend out that contour. And with a damp beauty blender, I'll just blend out my highlight. Here I'll be using the Real Techniques brush to blend out the rest of that contour.
I'll be using the Kat Von D contour palette and I'll be using the color levitation for my highlight. I know you're probably saying to yourself right about now, what in the world? I'm looking like a ghost. But just chill. Don't worry about it. It's going to all come together like butt cheeks. Here I'm going back in with the same Kat Von D contour palette. And this time I'll be using the color subconscious for my contour. I'll be priming my eyelids with the MAC Paint Pot in the color Groundwork. <laughs> Boy, if enthusiastic was a person. Here I'll be using the Box of Crayons palette, and the first color I'll start off with is my favorite color, pink. And here I'm just building up that color to get it to the level pink that I would like. And here I'll be using the Good Sis Jackie Ines ABH Collab Palette in the color Supreme. And I'll be using that to build up to the color that I desire. be going back in that box of crayons palette using the color magenta to darken that outer crease And here I'll be going back into that box of crayons palette using the color yellow on my lid. back 
back into that box of crayons palette using the color gold. Here I'll be applying the Fenty Beauty's Pro Filter Primer on my eyelids to get the gold color to really stick and pop. Here I'll be going in with the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer in the color Toasted. One of these days in the near future, I will learn to dust off the excess powder before going straight in on my face with the brush. Ladies and gentlemen, you see that spot there on my right cheek? That's the product of putting product on your brush and not dusting it off. You'll get way too much, but you'll see how I'll fix it here later. And here's where I go in and I fix that issue. Boom, problem solved. And this is the purpose of the bronzer. Now, as you can see here, I've completely brought the color back into my face. So I'm no longer looking like a ghost. And here's where I applied that gold color from the box of crayons palette. And here, going back into that Jackie Anna palette, I'll be using the color Zam to go over that lid color and highlight it a bit more and just blend it out. Since you're still here, go ahead and hit that cute like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, hit the post notifications as well. You may as well. That way you'll get notified every time I drop a new video. Here, using the brush that I used earlier, not adding any additional product, I'm just gonna blend out and marry the two colors together. And dipping into that Jackie Ina palette again, I'll be using Pinker to define my inner and outer crease. And again, on my eyelids, I will be using the Fenty Pro Filter Primer. And here I'll be going in with the Magic Loose Glitter on my eyelid. Ooh wee, the fallout is real. I found this loose glitter at my local beauty supply store and I have to say I'm very impressed with the quality and the color. I wasn't expecting that at all. Here I'm going in with the NYX glitter primer. I'm going to use this with the attempts of trying to lessen the fallout from the loose glitter. Jeez, I sure do make some ugly faces while I'm applying my makeup. I'm going to apply some of that glue to the other eye as well just to seal and lock that one in. And since I applied some of that glitter primer over here, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more loose glitter.
with the same brush from earlier I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that glitter out and marry the pink colors uh, together with the gold and there goes those faces again okay so under here I'm gonna go in under my lash line with the color Wigglies from the Jackie Aina palette And here I'm going in with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil and the color perversion in my waterline. Here I'm going in with Laura Mercier's Translucent Powder. And I really like this stuff because it has like a shimmer to it. So actually it was perfect for this look here. Here I'll be using the Urban Decay Mascara in the color Perversion. And here I'm just going in and dusting off that excess powder. And again, using that Urban Decay Mascara, I'll be going in and applying that to my bottom lash line. contour palette using the color subconscious to define my contour. And here on my cheeks I'll be using the MAC Mineralized Blush in the color of Lovejoy. I really love this blush, it gives you such a natural glow. And here for my highlight, I'll be using the Crayon Case Highlighter Powder in the color Rosy. I really like this stuff because it has like a pinkish goldish, like a rose goldish color to it. Really cute. Here I'll be using the Benefit Cosmetics Precisely My Brow Pencil 
in the color 3.75 and I'm just going to line my brows and fill them in. I started not to do my brows on camera just to save time, but they came out so on fleek, I had no choice. <laughs> Here I'm just going to go in with the NYX Above and Beyond Concealer in the color CJ05 to clean up my eyebrows. Here I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. I'm just going to use this to set my eyebrows. This stuff will make your brows stay in place all day. Here I'll be going back into that Jackie Ina palette using the color Zam for my inner corner eye. This really makes my eyes stand out and pop. And here I'm gonna go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dewy Set Setting Spray. And here I'll be going in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray to set all of my makeup. And here I'll be using the ABH Lip Primer before applying my lipstick. And here I'll be going in with the MAC Lip Liner in the color Nightingale. And here I'll be using the MAC lipstick in the color Goodbye Kiss. This lipstick actually came as part of a collection, so you won't be able to find it to purchase individually. I'll be applying my Privilege Diva lashes and wig off camera, so stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hey, dolls and divas. Thank you so much for hanging out with me until the end. I really appreciate it. Before you go, hit that cute like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell. Why not? This way you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. I will have new videos coming every week. Thank you. Stay tuned. Smooches.